All right, Ray. Thank you so much for making time. Uh, can't wait to get down to Florida next weekend. And we're going to be hosting a group of uh, friends, uh, and some people with similar backgrounds, a lot of internet marketing uh, individuals. And we're going to be doing a workshop in person in Destin at one of my properties. And we're going to be talking about real estate, uh, real estate investing, the tools, and financing, uh, how to navigate in these markets, which are, are, are a little bit different than the norm with rates and prices high, but still real estate is a long game. Um, but Ray, uh, thank you so much. Looking forward to everything. Um, do you want to just share a little bit about, uh, you know, your background and who you serve? Sure. Well, Joel, first of all, thank you so much for hosting this workshop. Uh, I know you're, it's taken a lot of time and effort for you to, to step out of your busy life to, to do this, but it's going to make a huge impact in the lives of the people that are coming. Um, what I've been doing for several years, uh, for probably like 30 years, uh, I homeschooled seven children and my husband was a public school teacher who wanted me to teach them how to specifically make money because even though he was highly educated, he never did make a lot of money. And he just felt like there was a, a gap in our education system. He wanted us to fill that. And so I was constantly trying to find ways for my children to step into different things that they were that were interesting to each of them. Seven kids went in seven different directions. And so I was constantly searching for those things. So I took my children to a lot of real estate meetings, a lot of uh, internet marketing conferences, uh, copywriting conferences, just all different types of things so that they could figure out what they liked and what they didn't like. And in the process, I ended up starting conferences where I would bring millionaire experts in a bunch of different fields uh, to our homeschool families so that they could connect with these people and actually use that for curriculum to teach their children um, how to do things. And we had many, many success stories. I uh, would love to share with, with you some, but I, it would take days and days for me to share all the stories with you of success. But uh, the people that are coming to this event are some of those people from, from that conference that I've hosted for uh, 30 years. And um, they are excited about learning more about real estate. They're coming from different walks of life. They have different areas of exp expertise, but they know, just like you and I know, is that real estate is the foundation of everything. Everybody has to have a place to live. Uh, even though you have an internet business, you still sometimes need a place to um, operate business uh, from home and from uh, you know on-site uh, in the retail world. And Real estate is just foundational. And so you're providing amazing education and information. You, I, I can't believe all the things that you're going to be able to share with us. Uh, but the most exciting thing about this is the venue. You have an amazing property. And I'm super excited about the fact that you're going to let us come down there and spend the weekend brainstorming with each other, networking, learning from you, and having a marvelous time um, and, at the Emerald Coast. It's going to be fabulous. Yeah. And this is the time of year where, you know, I live in St. Louis and it, it's getting cold. And I, you know, I've lived here all my life and I don't like the cold. Just going to be frank. I don't like the cold. Um, so I'll, I'll be enjoying a little bit of a, the sunshine down there. Uh, it, it stays warmer uh, throughout the majority of the winter down there. So it, it's a great time to be getting down there. And it's not as busy like March through August. It is bonkers crazy with all the kind of the vacation beach rental type of stuff. So this is a good time to be able to get away. Um, the biggest thing that I love about these types of opportunities is the word distractions, right? I mean, there's so many distractions in our everyday lives with jobs and kids and families and all the things that maybe events and whatever someone's personal thing is, is to be able to have a group of people that have some commonalities, wanting to be able to learn, get better at something, get ahead, build something for themselves outside of what they're already doing uh, and block out all the distractions. The blocking out the distractions is just a massive, massive opportunity where uh, some of the other people that have been through these, uh, you know, they, that's the one thing they they talk about is just being able to just block everything out, focus on this network. And not only that, like one of the other workshops was a prospecting workshop and taking information and then actually being able to implement it on site rather than just taking the information home. Um, now, this is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be able to really, you know, put it into practice something uh, in terms of real estate because the real estate is a long game. Um, but one of the things that I want to bring up too, is that this is the, we're, we're in weird times right now, you know, prices continue to go up rates are higher than they have been in the last couple of years, 15 years, probably. Um, but transactions and real estate still goes on. It's a long game. Uh, and, and there are cycles, but you can still win. And, you know, the people that are going to be coming through, like you mentioned in different walks of life. And some people maybe it may be their first purchase. It may be their fifth purchase. And there's different things that you can do to be able to kind of, win, you know, figure out how to win in this market for your situation. So I can't wait to be able to kind of go through and help uh, strategize with the group. Well, networking is huge and so many people do not understand the value of it. Um, I've been part of uh, um, mastermind groups for years 
where they just get together in a room. Uh, they just go around and share their challenges. And then the the power of the the people that are in the room, just the amount of knowledge and experience that they all have collectively um, just is like focusing so much energy on solving the challenges. And usually what happens is um, the person that's that's presenting their challenge comes is given lots and lots of different options for solving the problem or creating new business, creating new situations, uh, expanding their team, expanding their products, whatever, uh, that they never thought about before. It's, it's like being in the room with a bunch of geniuses. And um, and a lot of people say, oh, I don't have anything to bring to the table. I, I don't know how to think like that. But when you put a bunch of people in a room, and like you said, you turn off all the distractions, you step away, you turn off the phones and the TVs and the video games and everything, and you just focus on a, a topic for 30 minutes to an hour, anybody can focus on it that long, things happen. It's it's like, it's amazing how divine appointments happen. And all of a sudden people start just saying things, they get all these crazy ideas. And they're like, oh, what if you did this? What if you did that? And then other people say, oh, well, yeah, add this to that. And, you know, it just becomes a gigantic brainstorm. Think about doing that with people that are smarter than you are. What, one of my philosophies of life is always surround yourself with people that are smarter than you are. And what I've found is they're usually about 10 to 12 years old. <laughs> and so I tell my homeschool moms, don't be afraid to listen to your young people when they say, hey, have you thought about this idea? Because that's what happened with us. We had a problem with one of our real estate properties. And my son, oldest son was about, I think, 16 at the time he was managing that property. And he said, uh, let's sell it on eBay. And my second son came along and he was about eight and he said, uh, I think you should start it for a penny. And I didn't laugh because we don't laugh at things like that at my house. And the, my other son said, no, let's not sell it for a penny. Let's sell it for a dollar. But what we did was we created a system for selling houses on eBay, using eBay to get the down payment. And then we owner financed out the difference of it for uh, you know, 30, 20, 30 years, developed a system that nobody had tried at that point. And we literally started the bidding at a dollar. And it only took us 30 seconds to sell the first house. You don't sell houses in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And so that was the beginning of our, our journey in, in that particular realm of real estate, but it, the idea came from an eight-year-old. So you don't, you never know who has an idea that could change your life and your financial situation. Real estate is, there's so many different options, so many different directions that you can go in that. It's my fa one of my favorite projects in the whole world. So I have to ask this question and I mean, we have to be careful because, you know, we, there's some names out there, um, but you've been around some very, very prominent, well-known names in, in these entrepreneurial business circles, uh, internet marketing names that people will know. What would you say is a commonality with some of these leaders that they bring to the table that just people probably need to be aware of or, bring, or know about what, what, what's different about these individuals? They believe in vision and they don't and they're careful who they listen to they don't listen to just anybody tell them oh no that won't work or um that's illegal i mean you know they're always legal they always they always you know check everything out they they vet everything before they step into it but they create things that didn't exist before usually and they build teams they create systems they usually have a network of people that they respond to and listen to, like a mastermind, which is why I love this idea of what you're doing uh, down here uh, in Destin. Um, but they think differently. Um, they they read, they study. They don't believe everything the first time they've they've heard it. They study it out to to find out is that true? Uh, should I act on this or should I discard this? And uh, they're just um, they tend to be. Uh, focused on faith rather than fear. They don't let fear of failure stop them because people will say, oh, well, what if it doesn't work? They don't even think that way. If they get a project in their mind and they're an idea, they're like, let's go do this. And then if somebody comes along and says, oh, what if? What about this? What about that? They're like, well, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that when we get to that place, if that happens, but it may not even happen. Let's just step out and see what happens if we try. I love it. Faith, not fear. Okay, one more question for you. Um, with kind of this putting events together to help market, to help on a mission, to help people in your experience of, of being around these groups and putting these things together. Um, because, because again, and then I guess we can, we can probably talk about this. We're going to be doing more of these events, one coming up in December, one in January. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on, on releasing dates at this point. Um, but what's, what's one thing that gets you pumped up about put, helping putting some of these events on? 
Well, there's a certain energy that happens when you put people together. Uh, even if you're putting people that are desperate. I mean, I've had a lot of people that have come to me that have said, what we're doing is not working. We're desperate. We need money. And you just start talking to them and the light comes on in their eyes and they're like, you give them hope. I love giving people hope. But when you put people together that are already doing things, um, it's kind of like chocolate covered strawberries. I've got strawberries. You've got chocolate. They're both great. You put them together. You got chocolate covered strawberries. You're like, wow, this is really great. And that would never happen unless you and I meet someplace and your chocolate gets on top of my strawberry. Right. And so <clears throat> when you have an event like this, it's it's a it's like a spiritual time almost where things just happen and conversations occur. They might even occur while you're in the kitchen, you know, chopping up celery or something. And somebody just walks up and says, have you thought about doing this? Because they know what your challenge is or your business is or whatever. And you go, no, I haven't. And also having an open mind so that when somebody comes up and says, you know, you're not doing the right thing. You should think about this. You, you, they usually don't talk like that. But, you know, they would say, have you thought about doing what you're doing differently? And you go, well, we've always done it this way. And you say, well, is that the most efficient way? Is there possibly a better way to do it that would, would serve your audience better and also profit you better? And if they're open minded, which most of these people are, then they'll say, well, yeah, let me look at that. Let me think about that. And then just draw it out and just say, you know, if we keep going the direction we're going, we have this. If we change, we go, we get that. So you just never know when a a, a, a partnership or relationship might develop out of something like that. Um, I had a, a ladies' event. We called it a girls' escape last year at Christmas time in St. Augustine. There were six ladies there. One of the ladies created a course on how to do a cooking thing, and she hired the other lady because the other lady was a ClickFunnels expert. And they partnered together and now they're making money together because they met each other at a live event and one had a product and an idea. The other one was a service person. She could provide the the knowledge that the, the expert didn't have. That's the kind of thing that happens at live events. If you, if you have ever wanted to invest in yourself so that you could take it to the next level, whatever it is that you're doing in your life, um, going to a small mastermind meeting like this is huge. And Joel, I'm impressed with your knowledge with the knowledge base that you have i mean to be able to spend a weekend with you and to be able to have access to you and the amount of knowledge that you have about real estate is huge because so many people don't know how to buy a house or they don't know how to step into the investment world they don't know how to do airbnb they they look at it from afar and they say well that's great i don't know how to do it they can come down and spend a weekend with you and sit around at the pool or at in the kitchen or in the living room or at the beach, and you will just talk. I mean, that by itself is worth a fortune that people pay a lot of money to go to things like that. And you're bringing huge value to the, the to the table. And um, I think it's a huge blessing. And if anybody is looking for a situation, an opportunity like that, they totally need to step into this thing. I mean, I know it's kind of last minute, but hey, at some of the events that we've hosted, we had people show up at the door. <laughs> they had, had driven like 10 hours to get there because they just found out about it the day before they showed up at the door. We let them come in because, Hey, mm -hmm. you want to change people's lives as, as many as you can. And last minute is not, that's, that's fine. You know, it, it works. Yeah. I mean like, okay. If somebody is listening this far, we, we do have two bedrooms that we are, we have open. Um, and this, the house sleeps 25, uh, technically. So, um, if somebody is interested in learning more about the opportunity, let us know, message me. Um, but like you mentioned the real estate stuff and the knowledge, like the, the biggest thing that I would ever want to get across to somebody, because again, one of the things I always talk about is that, you know, information is just information until you actually put it in place. Right. Like, you know, you go to a conference, you learn all this stuff, you get excited at the moment. And then like what happens in, in, in a day or a week or a month, that excitement, the energy, it wears off. And you know, there are processes that I personally use that I've learned along the way to be able to take that, that excitement, energy, and, and then turning it into a fuel that I can use every single day. Um, and it involves, you know, tapping into the subconscious. And the reason I bring it up is that like one little thing, one little action over and over and over and over, it adds up. You know, you, you see somebody who has how many millions of dollars of real estate or how many millions of dollars or whatever, like, it doesn't happen overnight. It, it's a process. It, it starts with the first step. It starts with the first leap into the game. Like when I bought my first house in 2009, I didn't know what I was doing. When I bought my second house in 2013, I knew more, not, 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 not that much more, but I turned the old one into a rental and I did it again and did it again. And I, can I call that the stair step method? So it's a way for the everyday person 
to get ahead and build massive wealth. So you don't have to have it all figured out. You can just start at the bottom. And there is a plan. There's a way to be able to make it work over time. And if, and if you don't, if you don't want to do it, or now's not the time, that's okay. Um, but learning about it and then hearing more and more about it and having it become part of you over time is also part of the process as well. It totally is. And so many people are afraid to step into investment real estate because they look at a house and they say, wow, this is expensive. This is a, a big thing in my life. And I am scared. I, I don't know how to step into the investment real estate world that I want to. I see my neighbors doing it. I see my friends at work doing it. And so they need somebody to kind of hold their hand. And so that's what, what the way that I look at going to conferences, connecting with uh, experts, hiring mentors is, is they're, you're going to hire somebody to hold your hand and they've already walked through the minefield. They already know where the mines are. They're going to lead you around the mines basically. And that's kind of what you're doing here. And with real estate, if we had learned how to make mistakes uh, with projects that were smaller than that when we were younger, then we wouldn't be so scared when we got to a bigger thing like a house. The problem is, is that we haven't given ourselves those experiences so that we don't know how to trust ourselves. We don't know how to make decisions. We don't know a lot about financing. And so we've, we're, our education system needs to be overhauled. I think you, you should be a like a junior high teacher. You should be teaching this stuff in junior high because you know, when kids are 12, 10, 12 years old, they start saying, why am I here? What am I going to do with my life? What do I want to do? They need to be learning about real estate because everybody at some point is going to buy a house and most people don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And they just go out and do it wrong. And then they say, oh, well, that was a mess. And so I'm not going to step into investment real estate because nobody ever taught them that. They really do not teach this stuff in school. And that's one of the things that that my company is stepping into is providing that type of education for reality. Um, and so by putting a thing like this together, you're offering the the handholding basically, because you might meet somebody there that would say, well, I've done that before. It's not hard. Let me show you how to do it or call me if you need me. And then, of course, if you were smart and you totally are, you'd offer yourself and say, hey, um, I am willing to be a mentor to you. And I totally believe you should have a mentoring program because you're a very wise young man and very experienced, very knowledgeable in the world of real estate and probably a ton of other things that, that I don't even know about yet because people are multifaceted. You know, real estate's probably just one side of you. There's just so much more. So offering a mentoring program where I can call you up, I can pay you a monthly fee that's going to be nominal, nominal based based on what I'm you're going to save me. Because if I make one mistake, I have... I can't tell this, this story about, I was, let me just say a person. It was kind of a personal story, but a person lost $10,000. Well, they've made a mistake, but they've learned a lesson. So now if you're their friend and you're about to make that same mistake, he can tell you, don't do that, do this instead, because he's already learned that lesson. So it's basically like he paid $10,000 to learn that lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so what is your value? More than $10,000, because if I can pay you money like that, especially if you can stretch it out over a year, and I'm going to save that on the mistakes that I'm not going to make, but then I'm also going to gain because I'm also going to make a profit this year and I'm going to benefit on my taxes and all that, all those types of things, which you're also an expert at, then why not pay an expert for their advice so that they don't step in those mines and blow themselves up and lose $10,000? Yeah, you're, you're a mentor. You're an excellent mentor. I, I would love to see you uh, step into that mentoring realm. Well, I appreciate that. And I think you may be able to help me out with that along the way too. And, and, and you no, know, who it's who, right? Who, not how, the how we, I, I personally have gotten caught up so much and like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to figure this out? All these little baby steps. And sometimes you find the right person that can get you the, the quick answers, you know, finding the who's that can help you get to your big goals. And I, like, that's the thing is that, you know, me personally, you know, I've got big, I got some big goals, but you know, I had to, I had to build up to get there, to have these visions that I've, that I've built up. It's taken time and years and struggles and pain and all these things to get there. And you don't, it doesn't happen overnight. And so, you know, having an opportunity to build a team up and, and put together an event like this, it's an opportunity to be able to help some people get to where they want to go. And then to be able to can do more of these. And, you know, uh, it, obviously it takes time. It takes dollars to be able to do these things. And so we actually, I think we have a couple sponsorship uh, options open too, slots open too. So if anybody's out there that, you know, believes in what we're trying to do, educate, you know, income, increase income, save, invest. That's what this platform is all about. Um, if you have any interest in uh, reaching out, learning more about what we're doing from a sponsorship standpoint, you know, let us know as well. And anything else you want to touch on? 
I have a crazy idea and I don't know if you're able to do this or not, but I'm just going to throw it out there. It mm -hmm. would be awesome if you could just do this once a month, if people could just be in some type of your mentoring program or whatever and meet with you once a month, wherever it is, it might be in Destin this week, this week, it might be somewhere else. Uh, but the value of being with somebody like you on a regular basis, I know you can do Zooms, but it's not the same because Zoom is awesome. It's a great communication tool, but it's not like spending the weekend with a person like you. So it looks like, I mean, I would just love it if I could just come down there and spend one weekend a month or if I couldn't make it every month, maybe every other month and just brainstorm with you. And then also, you know, you don't know who's going to be there. So you have crypto experts nowadays. You mm -hmm. have you know, software experts, you have Amazon, FBA, YouTube all experts, that. all, all I mean, this extra level stuff. Yeah. What we saw in home, in the COVID years were that home business worked because the, the corporations sent their people home and they said, okay, let's just keep doing this thing by Zoom. And it worked, which we've been telling people for a long time. I've been in the home, home business world for 30 years. I know it worked, but the standard world world out there didn't trust it. They didn't realize that it was a valuable thing. But during COVID, we all saw it did work. Zoom saved the day, even with school. And so it's an awesome tool. And if we could stay connected to you on a regular basis and say, hey, I'll pay you a monthly fee if you'll just answer my questions and hold my hand virtually. But then to be able to go down and spend a weekend with you, especially on like a holiday weekend when there's a, a minor holiday, like Memorial Day or Veterans Day or something like that, uh, when we can spend it two or three days together um, talking, the va the value of that is absolutely huge. And if somebody is out there at a point where they say, I want to step into the next place of my life, I want to be get serious about um, investing, about home business, about real estate, about something with my life, creating multiple streams of income, which is what I teach people all the time, um, then this is an opportunity, I think, in the at the beginning of stages i mean if you could have invested in in microsoft early on would you have done that don't mm -hmm. you wish now that you had don't you wish you'd gotten into bitcoin when it was back at four cents oh yeah well mm -hmm. guess what what i think you're doing right here is that you're at the beginning of something huge go for it damn right i appreciate it. one more thing income streams the people that you're around do you want to maybe give one little tip or secret of something that's out there that okay if you go down this topic or lane or industry or niche Niche. Niche. Could be could be uh lucrative to learn. Uh well, I love cryptocurrency. It's it's a very controversial thing. And right now it's it's kind of going back up a little bit, but it hasn't gone where it's gonna go. And I'm a I'm a believer in Bitcoin. Uh, there's a I don't know how many thousands of altcoins there are out there right now, but uh Bitcoin I don't think is going anywhere. I don't know that what they can do. I don't know what the banks are fixing to do. I don't know what the government's fixing to do with our, our financial situation, but I have the feeling that Bitcoin is going to be a sleeper. So you, you want to learn about it. And the secret is buy low, sell high. If you're, if it's, if it's lower than where you bought it at, don't get out, just HODL, H-O-D-L, <laughs> hold on for dear life. Yep. And just make sure it's a, you know, amount of money that you're can, be okay not having for a long time. Right. And I am not a financial advisor and I don't play one on TV. Yeah. And so what I tell my friends is that's what I love. And you ask me what I love. I'm not telling mm -hmm. you what to do, but never invest money that you can't afford to lose. If you're investing your house payment, don't do it, it uh, in anything because that's not an investment. That's a risk. And you've got to understand what risk is when you get into the world of investing. And there's there are smart risks and there's stupid risk. And putting your your uh, your mortgage payment into an investment and hoping that it's going to do something that's not smart. So that's why you need to come down and hang around with people like Joel, who's going to tell you not to do things like that. He's going to give you wise advice based on experience and knowledge. Okay. Last thing you mentioned, click funnels, something that I've been learning personally and trying to do a few things and some lead magnets and whatnot. Anything else in that world that you're seeing people thrive in, in terms of just generating extra income? Oh yeah. Well, uh, Russell Brunson is a really good friend of mine and lo I love him. Love, love, love the guy. He's created a system so that it's pretty much uh, complete. All you have to do is just 
pop your stuff into it and take off and go. And it helps you do a lot of the marketing. Um, there's, there's two things in the world. If you create something, it's like a billboard in a desert, like a, a blog or a website or whatever. It's a billboard in the desert. It will not have anything happen to it. There will be no action unless you market it. You have to go out and grab people and drag them back in and say, hey, here's my website. That's what ClickFunnels does. There, there are other programs out there. There's Kajabi. Uh, there's several other things, mm -hmm. uh, but they do work. But the thing you want to try to create is passive income, because when you get old like I am, you don't want to work anymore. There's all kinds of things you can do to make money, but ask yourself, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? And if it doesn't work out, if you just get tired of it, don't be afraid to sell it. Don't turn it off. Just sell it. Sell your business. Even if it's if it's White's Plumbing and that your last name is White, go ahead and sell it to Brown. It doesn't matter. But so many people say, well, I just can't do that because it's got my name on it. Well, first of all, don't name it with your family name. Second of all, don't be afraid to sell it and just announce to the world, hey, this is under new management. But focus on trying to create passive income because passive uh, keeps going when you're tired and don't want to work anymore like me. <laughs> I love it. So the mar the marketing part of it, right? Should we do marketing? A, should we do a live or a workshop on that down the road? Because that, that that's the hardest part, right? Marketing it. That is the hardest part. That is hard. Yeah, that would be great if you did one whole weekend on marketing. You could probably get an expert to come in that is a, an expert in click funnels to come in and just walk everybody through it. There's a lot of them out there. I, I know several. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, thank you. So this is, I, I just, I'm pumped. Can't wait for next weekend and uh, we'll be doing more of these. And so if anybody's out there that's gotten this far, if you have any questions, just shoot us a message. I have one other last idea. Why oh, don't yeah. you run a poll and ask everybody that's listening to this, what do you want to learn about? Oh. And then all you have to do is just bring in the experts and say, Hey, yeah. next week is going to yeah. be a crypto. In March, we're going to have real, uh, let me, let me uh, internet it marketing. Yeah. And just, yeah. uh, See, see what happens when you put people together. They just come up with ideas off the top of their head at the last minute. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what we're talking about. Right. And then it turns into something. And now down the road, it's like, oh, that just happened on a, on a podcast we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Internet marketing, crypto. What else? Amazon. Real estate, copywriting. Amazon. Airbnb specifically. Short-term rentals. Okay. That's a, good, oh, that's a good little list. How to make money camping. That's my new thing. You can make what? money camping. Oh, yeah. We'll talk about that when we get to Destin. All right. All right. Well, shoot. Okay. I'm going to put it out there. And we'll see where it goes. That's all I got. Awesome. All right. See ya. Bye. Great. Good, good.